Brett Subtrition here with Crusaders TV, joined by General Manager of the Crusaders, Adam Surgery. Of course, uh, trade deadline has come and gone twice now, so maybe in your eyes, of course, the Crusaders being a very well-rounded team already, what was maybe some goals coming into the trade deadline? Yeah, I mean, in the previous, obviously, uh, you know, with being part of Hockey Canada, we, you know, we'd done our, our deadline and, you know, we were happy with what we had. Um, but, you know, now separating from Hockey Canada, we had a couple of roster spots, open spots available, able to take advantage of, say, for example, Tate Ross, who, who had season-ending surgery, uh, so we can put him on the long-term IR um, and then fill that spot with another defenseman. So we're able to add Dylan Bedick uh, and take advantage of, obviously, that uh, that spot that, that was open. And um, so, you know, it was really about just making sure we're healthy. Like, we don't, we're, you know, you can't really lean on your APs now with, with the separation and um, kind of being independent now. So we, we need to make sure that we had a full roster. And, um, you know, so that's what we did. We looked to fill the, the roster and make sure that, you know, we, uh, we continue to build an already de deep lineup. Of course, the Crusaders had a trade deadline as part of the AJHL, and of course, one as the BCHL. So maybe, uh, what was the advantages of having two trade deadlines? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, the, I mean the, the AJHL one was, uh, I think we came out of that happy. We didn't have, um, you know, as many, say, cards available when, when the deadline came around. And, um, you know, for us, I think, we made the best of the situation January 10th. And then, you know, the, the difference on this one here is, like I said, we, we separated and now having to make sure that we have a, a full lineup and we have a lineup, uh, you know, that, that's deep and it's competitive. And, um, you know, they're really we have, you know, 15 forwards that if anyone's playing is, is, is a good player and we've got eight defensemen that, you know, if any of them are playing, then they're really good. And same thing with our goaltending. We were able to add Jesse Pye as our third goalie and we feel like, you know, our goaltending, if any of them have to go in, we're, we're in a good spot. And uh, I guess in your eyes as the GM, how successful was the uh, two trade, de trade deadlines, excuse me, for the Crusaders? Yeah, both were successful. Um, you know, January 10th one, we added a couple of players. Um, and, you know, that, that was a really, we were really happy, really excited about the, uh, the Jan 10th one and what we felt, you know, we were going to be able to do going into uh, the last half of the season. Um, but now having joined the BCHL, it was important that, um, you know, this one here we, we, we looked at, you know, Making sure we stayed competitive, but at the same time, like I'm really excited about the additions we had, like we or that we brought in. Like we brought in some good young players that uh, we feel will have the opportunity to immerse themselves here and kind of acclimate themselves in Insured Park, and um, you know, hopefully by the end of the year, they'll give us a really good feel for what we have coming back next year. And uh, just my last question, you're talking about specifics of one trade, of course, maybe this one for the fans, the Brooks such trade, of course, to the Brooks Bandits. Maybe if you want to go into a, a little more details on that. Yeah, like obviously Such, he's been a big part of things here for a couple of years and uh, he's a heck of a player, heck of a kid. Uh, but sometimes, you know what, things don't always, um, they're, they're not always, uh, sometimes things, you know, can go, you know, sometimes relationships don't always stay, um, you know, as as positive, um, you know, if, if for lack of a better term. Um but I, I feel like Brock, you know, just the change was good for Brock. I think it, it, he needed that. Um, I think it'll be good for us too to 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 move on and and you know Brock will be in a good spot. We wanted to make sure we worked with him in, in terms of where he ended up and um, you know we we weren't going to dictate anything. We wanted to make sure it was collaborative and make sure he ended up somewhere that he was happy. He deserves that. He's been a heck of a kid here. He's done a lot of things for us in the organization and. Um, you know, we wish him all the best and, and, and want nothing but good things to happen for him. He's going to have a long career and he's going to do a lot of good things. Well said. Thank you very much. Uh, GM Adam Surgery and Brett Subchishan for Crusaders TV.